I'm just saying, if I can't get what I deserve as a wedding, I deserve what I'm supposed to get. Like, really, you have to bring this conversation up again. You're really arguing about this wedding. Yes. I'm doing what I can as a man to make sure you have the perfect wedding, and you're trying to make it. It's not all. Oh, but you're not giving me what I want in reality. So if you, what I can. if you can't give me what I want, you can have this ring back. So you, you, just, you, you can have it back. Ringo? You can have it back. You know how much this ring fucking costs? You can have it back. Are you tripping about a wedding? Yes. You know how much this ring If costs? you can't pay for the type of wedding that I deserve, you can have it. You oh can God. have it. Wow, I cannot believe you would do me like this. Yes. Before. I don't want you. You're not, you're not meant to be my wife then. I don't want you're you. You're not meant to be my wife. I don't want you. You're tripping about a fucking wedding. Yes, a wedding. You can't give me what I want. I don't want you. Are you serious? Yes. And you took my ring off. I did. I did. If you can't pay for the wedding that I deserve, I don't need to be with you. You know what? I'm done with you, all right? You don't deserve to be my That's wife. Fine. Like, this is That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I can I find somebody that, that, that can actually pay for my wedding. Let me keep it real. I don't think that she should leave him or she he whatever the fuck that is i don't think that they should go because if that's a woman my guy you are lucky that you even got cuffed to begin with let alone to leave over a petty argument like me and my girl we got married in her parents backyard i proposed in my in my parents backyard and we got married in her parents backyard so like if you really love someone it could be a fucking vegas courthouse wedding it don't gotta be nothing that that shit is so dumb that shit is so stupid. I understand that a lot of people, oh, they have this big dream and stuff like that. It's like, bro, how many genuine friends do you actually have? Or how many genuine family members and friends you actually are close with? A lot of those are just gonna be half-assed relationships, only there for the food. Huh? Only there because they were invited type shit. People that you haven't spoke with in years. I think it's nice, but I think that the target audience for wedding is, is definitely women. That's definitely something for women. And I know a lot of men, it's their big day and it is a big thing. I just think if you love somebody, it doesn't matter. A piece of paper won't define y'all. A big wedding won't define y'all. At the end of the day, you guys are gonna look back on the time spent, how you guys treat each other. And yeah, that might've been a fun day or not, but if you can't find fun, in the little things, what makes you think that you're gonna find fun in the big things? But honestly, my bro, I think you dodged a bullet and a set of facial hair too. Cause one beard is hard enough to upkeep. Now two beards, that's a whole different story. Cause women, they be wanting you to pay for their nails, their eyelashes. Please don't tell me that she's gonna be expecting you to be paying for, to trim her beard too. All jokes aside, I hope her clippers are okay. dude. After editing this video, I'm just like watching it back now. There might be a possibility that this video might be fake, but that hair looks real. If her chin is that hairy, I can't imagine her bush. And I ain't talking George.